Two pluses right now. Nate's got three toughness plays already. He don't want to run. Let's go. at Link Academy. This is my first year. I'm coming off of for 16 years I've been in the Southeastern Conference uh, as an assistant at Ole Miss for 11 years and then as an assistant at LSU for the past five years. Uh, this will be my 22nd year in coaching. It's a funny story man because my grandfather was a legendary football coach in Birmingham. My dad was a Really, really good, well-respected basketball coach in Birmingham. Both coached a little bit in college, both in um, mostly in high school. Um, I really never thought I wanted to get into coaching. I, I always was grew up wanting to be a, a lawyer and, and into the FBI after that. But once I got to, to college and started playing college basketball, really the first game uh, at UAB, uh, I didn't get to play in the game, but just being there and being a part of it and the atmosphere, uh, and, and just to see what all went into it, uh, that's what I decided I wanted to be a college basketball coach. Stop! Stop. Um, white on the line. Hey, the reason you lost, White, Slap. one person said a word the whole time. Hey, you go. Coach, you've got to talk. Everybody has to talk. Black, hold on, hold on, hold on, Black, get down here. Y'all still owe me four from your turnover fest last night. We don't start talking, we're gonna run a lot today. Hey, listen, nobody cares that you're tired, nobody. You better get going, go! Uh, well, the culture alone just, it, it's about, you know, uh, treating people the right way, doing everything the right way, hard work, um, you know, that, that's what the kids come here for, you know, just to, to get into working hard, get into understanding uh, what it's going to be like when you get out into the real world. I think that's what Link prepares you for it as much as anything else, just preparing you for that next step in life, uh, both socially, spiritually, uh, and from a, from a basketball standpoint, of just knowing how to work hard and having a routine every day. Five more deflections to get out of that. What? 22. Somebody over. Catch, face, see what you got in those. 
Let's play under control. I'll quit calling charges. How about that, Ryan? Let's go. Circle. Circle. Come on, come on, last one. Hands up. Last one, you're Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Yeah, to me, um, you know, I'm big into, into team chemistry and, and, and guys bonding and, and uh, doing everything as one as a team. I think that carries over onto the floor. And then from just a sheer basketball standpoint, uh, the, the most simple philosophy that, that we have is, you know, we're going we're gonna to attack the paint offensively and we're going to protect the paint defensively. If we do those two things, we feel like we'll give ourselves a chance to win every game. Uh, but with the, you know, I'm, I'm big on numbers and analytics and uh, analytics show that if the ball touches the paint, the offensive wins uh, the majority of the possessions. And when the ball doesn't touch the paint, the defense wins the majority of the possessions. So that's kind of our, our philosophy if it, as it pertains to offense and defense. We're not keeping score. It's about getting it's three straight stops. First three stops. Whole team has one stop. Right. 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 I shouldn't. I shouldn't give that to you, but I'm being generous. You're supposed to be high side. The trap supposed to come from the baseline side. You're not supposed to allow the ball middle. Good kill. Good kill. Good kill. Uh, I just wanted to understand how hard it is, you know, as you continue to take each step in life uh, from a career standpoint, it gets harder and harder. So I want them to be able to embrace hard. That That's our kind of our team motto. Uh, I heard a speech from, from Coach Carol Lawson uh, earlier this summer, and it really moved me. She talked about uh, nothing in life gets easier, especially as you continue to move up in levels. But day by day, nothing's going to get easier here. Nothing's going to get easier in college. We're going to continue as coaches to try to make it hard on you. What it's about is not waiting for it to get easier, not getting through it in, in hopes it'll get easier. It's about handling hard better and I had never really heard it put that way but uh, when she said that it, it really moved me and, and we showed that to our team uh, in the first team meeting her the video of her speech and it, it was a great speech and, I, and I, that's what I want them to understand that it doesn't get any easier ever uh, they got to learn how to embrace hard and handle hard better BJ Aaron that's how loud I want you talking hey there are no rules in basketball about talking too loud we're not in the library. You can talk as loud as you want to. Hey, wait, come on, wake up. Come on, let's go. It actually will reward you if you do it. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, 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 hey,
So this is gonna be uh this is road game. Um so it's kind of our uh team building um conditioning session that we do at six thirty in the morning um every week. Um last week we did it on Wednesday, this week we're doing it on Tuesday. Uh, so uh we're testing their 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 physical and their mental. Um uh, and like I said just just uh bring them together as a team as a as a whole. Um so we're gonna get down here to the field, um and we're gonna have some fun. That's what it's gonna be. This is something that I picked up at LSU with uh, Coach Wade and our street coach, Coach Golden, that we did every week uh, leading up to the start of the season just to kind of prepare them mentally and then physically just so that when you get in a road game, when you're away from home and things are getting hard, uh, it's something you can kind of fall back on together that you all went through or that we went through. Uh, it's been just kind of a mental um, – Something mental they can draw up of that they know that they did and worked harder than, than the person in front of them, and they could dig down deep and do whatever it takes to win. And that's kind of what we're doing here today, this morning. Wheelbarrow. Everybody know what that is? No. One person on their hands, other person holding their feet. All right? Going all the way down to the first line of cone. Once you get to the first set of cones, you're linking up and doing those link sit ups, 10 of them as a team. All right? Does that make sense? Yard, then you're going to do the same thing for the second set of cones. Bear crawl, link, 10 sit-ups. Got it? Same thing to the third set of cones. Bear crawl, link, sit-ups. Same thing to the end of the goalpost. There's cones down there just like there are right here. 
10 sit-ups, all right? After you get those 10 link sit-ups in, it's a sprint race back to these cones. Does that make sense? And then if, if your last person crosses before the other team's last person, then you win that round. Three out of five again. Yo, don't drop it. Yo, we can go slower than them. This don't drop it. Because if you drop it, you gotta. If you drop it, you have to go back. If you drop it, you have to go back. Oh, hey, kid, hey, kid. Hey, here, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. Hey, kid, hey, kid. Hey, Ryan. What's next? What's next? Hey, hey, hey. I got you, man. That first set, that first set. Faster. Everybody got to cross the cone. No, your partner's got to cross the two. Partner's got to cross the two. There you go. Let's go. Switch it, switch it, switch it. Come on. Above your head. Let's go, team. Yo, Ryan running. I got to match that energy, man. You got to sprint out. You see how fast Ryan running. It's really 6 o'clock in the morning. That is crazy to me. I'll go last, bro, because I'll, I'll, I'll really sprint. Yo, what's after this? Did you go? And then when you pass it to Kobe, you go to the end. A lot of hustle, a lot of hustle though. Ready, go. <laughs> Let's go. Yep, kind of out. Come on, come on, you're on nine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, three, four, five. Go, 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 go. Good job, y'all. Good job. Here we go. Here we go. Run, Cam. Run. So they got to they gotta throw the ball down the line and back down. Throw the ball up the line, back down the line. The person that's uh, down here got to run all the way to the end. As soon as the ball crosses the cone, they got to do the same, same exact thing coming back. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. Come on. Toss that ball. Toss that ball. Come on, Corey. Pick up the feet. Slow feet don't eat. Slow feet don't eat. You about to launch it, ain't you, was? All right, then. I don't know if Jacoby can cross it. I don't know if Jacoby can cross it. Nate. Nate's got to get it. Nate's got to get it. Nate's got to get it. Quick, quick, quick. Yo, you got it. You got it. You got it. Go ahead, toss it. Good job. Come on, come on, come on. Get down, get down. Let's go, let's go. So this is the wheelbarrow. This is the wheelbarrow run, wheelbarrow race. All three teams, all, all six teams, all three teams got to go down. When they hit these first set of cones, they switch, uh, they switch runners, they switch holders, and they got to they gotta come right on back. There you go. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. Come on. Y'all know what it is. Slow feet don't eat, fellas. Slow feet don't eat. Come on. Come on. Come on. All the way through. All the way through. All the way through. Huh? Hey, relay med ball race. 20 pound medicine ball. They gotta run the ball 50, 50 yards. Down and back with the ball above their head. They bring it down below they below their face. They gotta start all over. Yeah, man. Y'all working this morning. Y'all working this morning. Hey, 
Go, hey, go, 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 hey, go, 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 go. Remember, there's no, hey, there's no road game if there's no adversity, fellas. There's no road game if there's no adversity. Last but not least, we got bear crawl run. They got a bear crawl 25 yards. As soon as they get to these cones, the first set of cones, every cone is 25 yards. As soon as they get to the cone, they got 10 link sit ups. So they got to cross their arms, go down, come up. 10 of them at the same time. All the way down to the uh, to the other side of the football field. As soon as they do their last 10 down there, it's a full out sprint all the way down here. Let's see who wins. Hurry up! Y'all cutting it close. Y'all cutting it close. Run all the way through. Run all the way through. Road game number two. Road game number two. Good job, bro. Good job, bro, Sean. Good job, Nate. My team never loses, bro. Hey, y'all scoot in here real quick. I'm not going to be long so y'all can go. The team that lost, hopefully you guys can learn something from it. All right? You guys were beat the first time y'all put your hands in the grass. Y'all gave in to it. Y'all split apart, knowing there was no leadership. Y'all just came apart. We can't have that. That can't happen when adversity hits. The whole thing today was about approach. This team's approach was we're going to go out there and do whatever we got to do to get through it to win. That's what they did. The other team was, oh, this is terrible. Guys, I promise you, every single person out here has done that times 100. Everybody. When you get to college, it's going to amp up twice as much. I promise you. We've all done it. All right, yeah, it's hard. It sucks. But winning is hard. Winning a championship is hard. That's what we're doing here today. We're winning a championship today. What did Coach Lawson say? Find a way to do hard better. Nothing gets easier. The road game next week is not going to get easier. It's going to get harder. So prepare your mind. This team was mentally prepared. Their approach was right. That's why they swept you guys. Good job, Young. Good job, Young. Oh, man, Nick, so road game partner. Rock, bro. Rock. Bear crawling. What? Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, this probably this probably the worst of the road game right here, man. This is crazy. Um, I'm Elliot Cadell. Um, I'm a junior. I'm a rising junior. I'm from New Jersey. Back in New Jersey, when I went to school, um, I would go to school like eight hours a day, seven hours a day, and I would have practice, and I would maybe have time to get in the gym one more time because I'll have like a lot of homework and stuff. But here, I'm in the gym constantly every single day, um, at least four times a day. So I feel like that's just great. How was practice today, boys? Horrible. Terrible. Oh, Terrible. God. Someday I'm going to walk in here and ask you, and you guys no, are going to no, be no, like, no, it was awesome. Like, like five in the morning to go run around the to run today. I mean, like the snow. We have to do bear crawls. Like, really Not crazy. even after you shower with mud? Do those off first? No, because it's like a drain type thing. Hi, Tyler. He's not real. Hi, Darlin. How you doing, buddy? Good. You see, as soon as you walk into the door, you see All right, pumpkins, let's look at Mama Paul's verse of the day, right? Galatians 6, 9. Okay? Yeah, somebody read it for us. All right, so do not grow weary in doing good for, as a proper, is that Tim? Time. Oh, time. You will reap a harvest if you do not give up. Right. I underline my favorite parts. If you like, if you don't give up, you won't know until you keep trying. That's a good point. If you do good all the time, what will happen to you? Good thing you come harvest. That's right. It's good a reap and sow principle, right? Yeah. What do y'all know about reaping and sowing? So let's say you want to get better or something. You right. Do anything about it. You got to put in the work, right? Yeah. I once heard people describe. Michael Jordan, I think they said this in the last dance, that he showed up every day to practice like he had to make the team, right? So he was putting in the effort all the time, and he reaped a harvest from that. My name is Rachel Qualls, and I've lived in this area practically my whole life, been married for 22 years, and my background is in education and in student and kids ministry. And I've served on our local school boards for the last six years, so I've been in education kind of a long time. And what I do here at Link is teach English um, for sophomores through seniors, and I also do an uh, online version of the civics class. So I think the way that we're working through this um, here at Link versus like traditional public high school 
uh, is better in some ways simply because if a kid is behind or they're struggling, there's much smaller class sizes, so we can work with them individually. So far since it's the beginning, really, kids have been able to stay up. But if one of the boys needs help, particularly with writing or reading or um, we're doing a play or something and where they would have to normally read part of that at home alone, we can get done most of that during this setting because our time together is about an hour and 15 minutes. So it really lends itself to really being able to tailor make it toward the students. Also, I can kind of pick and choose what units we do. We do all of the units, but I can maybe pick a unit that might take more time um, and do that at a time when they're a little less busy outside of class. So that's probably better for them in the long run too. So I love a good book with a front cover and a back cover, but um, that's just really not the world that they live in. So all of our novels are um, online and so as we read plays I believe the seniors are going to do Hamlet next week and the juniors have uh, To Kill a Mockingbird they're going to start next week that's all on their computer which is actually probably more convenient for them because they can take that with them they don't have to try to remember their computer and a book um, and they're used to looking at screens a lot so honestly I am open to whatever method is best for them okay so y'all are going to start with those two things and then we're gonna go over. So I'd like you to do the first assignment, we'll go over. This is gonna to talk to you about the different types of writing. Mm -hmm. um, and you're gonna get into technical writing today. So, and then we're gonna go over those, okay? I mean, I'm not sure. Yeah, I know. What do you say? You said we all have the same. We in, um, we in civics class right now. And we got, we got two assignments. And each of them has 15 questions, so you just got to read this and then answer the questions, and you're good. And then, and then some people got study hall from 8:30 to 9:30, right? No, no, we all have study hall. Some people have class. I don't. Right after our last class, we got dinner, and then after dinner, we probably got like an hour break, and then we got runs tonight at seven o'clock. Alright, here we go! If you get scored on five push-ups, then we switch and go the other way. Work on your technique at the first half of it. Don't cross your feet or you're starting over. Go! Use your hands, at it. Look at the ball. Look at the ball. We had a workout called Road Game. It's like a conditioning thing um, where they split they split us into two teams and we got a, it's like a race. Um, we was up at six o'clock doing that at 6.30. And we had a jump rope, we had to run with a weight ball, we had to bear crawl. I feel like the, the bear crawl was definitely the hardest because 
it was raining, it was muddy, and we had to bear crawl 100 yards and do like 50 sit-ups. And then we had a practice, um, a four on four practice at 10 o'clock, I think. And yeah, we was just working on defense, working on our plays, working on not turning the ball over, just building habits. I think I play, played solid. It wasn't too much to do. It was a four on four. We was just working on plays and defense, so it wasn't too much for me to do, but I played solid. My team went three and one. We won. We got the best record out of all the teams, so I think I did good. came in as talented offensive players. I think they really picked up on the defense. You know, we've really worked on that a lot more over the last 10 days of practice. Uh, I think we're, we're going to be really good defensively in the half court right now, especially. we got to we got to get better in our transition defense, which is to be expected, and then we'll get good at the press. But uh, offensively, they're so talented. I, I think we'll become a good offensive team once they learn how to share the ball. Obviously, there's got to be some role definition, which they've never had to worry about. But that's another thing that – they will have to learn uh, as far as college and learn how to do as they continue to move up playing basketball at a higher and higher level is that their roles are going to change. They're not always going to be the man. They're not always going to be asked to go out and score. You know, people in the NBA get only about, what, 10 percent of them get paid to score. The rest of them get paid to do other things. So we, we got to get better at those things. And I, I've really been pleased with their effort and uh, their ability to pick up what we're doing defensively. I think if we can do that, then uh, we can offensively in the end, uh, as long as I don't mess it up, they'll be able to, they'll be able to score. We're way ahead defensively. Offensively, we got to start paying attention to the little things, screening. I know it's hard against the switch, and I get it. All right, I get it. Eventually, we'll start playing some other team and get to see what we're doing uh, better. But we just got to work on it, which is, again, why it's just as important, if not more important, when we're doing dry run, to cut hard, to have the right space and to do the right thing. Because it's hard to practice our offense against the switch which is what I want. That's why we that's why we do switching, because you can't run out against pieces. All right, good job, good job. Hey, great morning, great morning. Go get yourself something to get to class. Hey, here we go, here we go. Link on three, family on six, one, two, three. Link. Four, five, six. Family. Hey, touch, touch it up, greet coaches. Touch, touch it up, go greet the coaches. Here we go, you know, man, uh, I've never been a big goal person. Uh, I'm actually reading a book right now that Coach Donye's gave me called Atomic Habits, and it talks about goals. And then once you reach your goal, then what? You know, do you go back into your negative habits? Uh, to me, our goal is to just to just win the day, to, to uh, go out each and every day and get better. I think if we can continue to do that with the collection of talent that we have put together, I think that, uh, that, that you know, we, we can – be better than uh, than everybody else, and ultimately, um, you know, have a chance to win a national championship. But I think our goal each and every day is to just try and get better. And then, you know, everybody's goal at this level is to try to win a national championship. And then that ultimately is what we're um, going through the process each and every day to do.